I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome everybody right here where we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I want to greet our Reverend and First Lady White as they are joining us. My God bless them as they are watching us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I also want to greet our pastor and pastor's support as they are with us. May God bless them. Hallelujah. These are the leaders of Bread of Life Assembly Church, the great leadership of Bread of Life Assembly Church. Hallelujah. May God bless them all. Hallelujah. As they are with us tonight, I am not praying for you alone. You on Facebook or YouTube, there is the leadership of Bread of Life Assembly who is praying with me for you guys hallelujah i want to welcome each and everybody on youtube facebook as you are watching hallelujah i want to greet our sister charlene intercessor in the lord may god bless you and then uh sibu zulu and kg boy welcome adriano welcome here yeah. good evening nazli may god bless all of you that are online if you are online you can go ahead and greet me tonight hallelujah wonderful jesus we give jesus all the glory and honor tonight as he is the one that is doing the wonders and the miracles in you not me but jesus is doing it he's doing it for you hallelujah me i am just a vessel i'm just passing over the grace of god unto you that's upon my life hallelujah mighty lord i want to greet bonita you are welcome all of you are welcome here tonight hallelujah wonderful jesus i also want to greet every intercessor every worshiper every uh every worker in the house of god of bread of life may god bless you may god be with you hallelujah i know that your work every media team every person in the media team that is working very hard i want to greet all of you that is watching me and may god bless all of you tonight for your hard work hallelujah you guys are just important as me hallelujah rante kusna hasi hasaka rabobo shikna hasi hasaka rika nane sekete yes go ahead and invite someone tell someone i'm online tonight i'm not going to be long i'm going to be very short just i'm just giving off what god has has, has prompted in my heart and i'll be praying for you so for those of you that need pray for those of you that need breakthrough may may you invite that person may you come on here and you you share your prayer request and i will pray for you hallelujah and jesus will do the work jesus will do the wonder wonderful work in your life hallelujah yes go ahead tell someone invite a friend over to watch with you invite your neighbors gather together with your family members because we are here together together all right we are here together to together in okura no sihante hallelujah 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 mandre ke sikata riki rababa shete rika rano sihantro bo sihataka i want to go over to the word of god right now as you are busy sharing and telling someone i want to go over to the word we read in the book of matthew chapter 21 verse 18 so in the morning as he returned into the city he hungered and when he saw a fig tree in the way he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only and said unto it let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever and presently the fig tree withered away hallelujah the fig tree withered away and when the disciples saw it they marveled saying how soon is the fig tree withered away and jesus answered and said unto them verily i say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree but also if you shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea it shall be done hallelujah so the message uh, that i want to share with you tonight is attitude in your prayer so it's about having attitude in your prayer we spoke about the heart we spoke about your heart good evening belinda berenice uh, good evening generally hallelujah so we spoke about the heart that god is is after your heart god is after your heart so now in your heart your heart has feelings and emotions 
everybody's heart that is where your feelings come from and your emotions hallelujah good evening Lynette good evening Lynette so your heart has feelings and it's got emotions hallelujah so for, for Jesus when Jesus walked he was hungry and the moment when he was hungry he went to a fig tree because he wanted to, to eat the fruit and when he got to the fig tree the tree was there was no fruit on it hallelujah he could not find food to eat so he rebuked the fig tree and immediately the fig tree it it withered so he died all right immediately the fig tree died there was no more no more tree because it could not give god what he wanted at that moment in time he couldn't give jesus what it needs in that moment in time hallelujah mighty god so what I've noticed with this piece of scripture, it is that Jesus, it's that Jesus did, he, he spoke to the fig tree for the fig tree to die just by his word. The fig tree died by Jesus' words that he uttered. Is the fig tree died by his words, hallelujah. So the disciples that was with Jesus, they saw what happened. They saw the moment that Jesus spoke, the fig tree died. Yes, the fig tree was no more. The moment when Jesus spoke a word, hallelujah, Jesus rebuked the fig tree because he could not find it. Hallelujah. He, he, I, I, I'll read it again for you. And when, when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing but leaves. And he said to the fig tree, let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. So he rebuked the fig tree and he said, no fruit shall grow on you. Hallelujah. Because he could not find it. Mighty God. He spoke a word and the fig tree immediately, it started to disappear there was no more fig tree the fig tree who uh, died hallelujah it withered says said it in the king james version so meaning that it it, it died there was it, it dried up there was no fig tree hallelujah and then uh he, the disciples wondered and they asked jesus why is it that when you spoke a word that the fig tree all of a sudden it, it is just gone it loses its function it's no more functional all right and they ask him why what, what happened how, how are you able to do it how are you able to just speak a word and things happen hallelujah why it was about jesus's attitude it was how did jesus feel at that moment in time it was how did his heart feel at that moment in time how did he feel that moment in time Jesus was hungry, and when you are hungry, you need food. If you cannot get food, how do you feel? You feel frustrated, you feel irritated, and you feel angry. Hallelujah. So you have an anger. So the moment when Jesus came to the fig tree, what happened was he could not find what he was looking for. So out of his frustration and out of his anger, he rebuked the fig tree. And because of his anger, because of his emotion, because he, he, he had an attitude, he had an attitude towards the fig tree. Hallelujah. There was an attitude in his words. Otherwise, you would, not, uh, you would not have rebuked the fig tree. So tonight, I want someone, I want someone tonight uh, you are there, you are praying, you are there, you have a desire, you are there, you have a need, you are there, you have a need for something, hallelujah. And when you look in your life, there is something that is not correct, there's something that is not functioning properly. You want your, your finances to function, you want to come to your finances, there's nothing. You come to your bank account, there's zero. You come to your to, to, to your house, there's, there, it's just a shack, there's no house. You come to your, there's not even a garage. You look around the shack, there's not even a garage. Hallelujah. You come to that fig 
tree. Your situation is your fig tree. When you get to that circumstances, when you look around you, you want a child, there's no child. Hallelujah. You want a job, there's no job. What attitude do you have at that moment? What attitude do you come with? Hallelujah. What attitude does it stir up in you? Kakusa Keterente Kosa. Because now, if you look at you, 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 are, you need something, you have a need, hallelujah. You walk to your kitchen, there's no food, and you are hungry. Why is there no food? Because there's no job. Look up, Ranetekete, hallelujah. So, in order for, for your, 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 your circumstances, there is no functionality. It doesn't work the way it should be, the way you want it to be. I want to tell you, Jesus came at a time where the fig tree, it was, I don't know if it was supposed to, if it was season even for, 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 if it was the season for figs. I don't know if it was the season that there should be figs, but Jesus was hungry. The fact that he was hungry, he had an attitude. He said, no, 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 you cannot fulfill my needs, but you are here. Someone have a bank account, but there is nothing in it. Someone have a car, but it's not working. It's not fulfilling your need. It is making you angry. It is making you upset. It is giving you an attitude. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight, I want someone to have an attitude. You must have an attitude towards your circumstances. You must have that, that attitude towards uh, towards your, 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 your need, what you need to your hunger. Hallelujah. Someone, they need a job. Every time they look, there is, they come to the workplace. There is no job for them. You, you, you want to study, but you can't. Hallelujah. You have a car, you don't have a license. Hallelujah. There's a need, but when you get to the, to the, to, to your point, when you go to the place, when you go to that place, you can't find it. It cannot be fulfilled for you. It cannot work for you. Hallelujah. It is dead like, it's like the fig tree. I don't know who's hearing me. I don't know who's hearing you on YouTube, you on Facebook. I don't know who's hearing me tonight. I don't know who's hearing. I hope you understand me. There is a system in your life. There is a certain, there is a certain, uh, how can I say? There you have, you have something. You have a CV. You have the qualifications. You have everything. But when you get to the job part, the job is not, it is not functioning. There's nothing functioning. Hallelujah. But it's there. It's just a zero on a contract. Hallelujah. You have the papers. You have everything. But what is missing, my brother or sister, is that business. What is missing or what is not functioning. I want to know. There is something in your life, but it's not functioning. You have a body part. You have a body. But your body part is not functioning the way it's supposed to be. There is a kidney, but the kidney is it is not functional. It is not normal. Hallelujah. There is, a, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hallelujah. I hope someone is hearing me tonight. Say my attitude in prayer. My attitude in prayer. My attitude in prayer. My attitude in prayer, my attitude in prayer, hallelujah, my attitude in prayer. The moment when Jesus, when he walked to the fig tree that was supposed to, 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 to give him fruit because he's hungry, he, he was frustrated when he could not find it. And because he couldn't find it, hallelujah, what did he do? He rebuked that fig tree. And he said, never will you ever bear fruit again. Ah, what a word to say. What did Jesus actually say? And what does it mean to you and me? It means that Jesus, he took 
his circumstances and he say, I had enough of you, circumstance. I had enough of you, bank account that is empty. I had enough of you, I have a bank card, but there's nothing. Minus zero point zero, zero, zero. I have, I have a check, but there is nothing happening. I have papers, but I don't have a job. Hallelujah. Nothing is functioning. Not, nothing is working the way it's supposed to be. So, uh, when you get to that point whereby you have an attitude, uh, where you stand up and rise above your circumstances, and you say, I had enough now, I rebuke you, I rebuke you, and normal functioning uh, 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 circumstance, I rebuke you and I speak to you, hallelujah, I speak to you. I, I believe the fact that you are tuning in to me, uh, hear me talk as a prophet, hallelujah, to hear me talk as a, as a mouthpiece of God. I believe that this is a prophetic word that Jesus spoken over the tree. It is a prophetic word that he uttered into the circumstances. And today, Jesus can do the same in your circumstances. He comes to your circumstances, to your, to your kidney that doesn't work, and he can speak to it. Hallelujah. He can speak to that, um, that, that function so that it can stop. Hallelujah. He can speak to that disease and say, disease, no more shall you be in my body. And you can speak to your bank account and say, minus, no more shall you be a minus ever. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I hope someone understands me. Jesus came to your bank account and he could not draw money. He wanted money because he needed it for something. And when he got there, hallelujah, there was nothing. It was minus. So what did he say to the bank account? He said, no more shall you be minus. No more. Hallelujah. I hope someone is hearing me. I hope someone is understanding tonight that you need an attitude in prayer. You need a certain attitude in your prayer. You need to be, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. You need to be upset for your circumstances. You need to be tired of it. You need to be irritated with it. You need to have a certain attitude, certain kind of attitude. Hallelujah. You need that that certain kind of attitude. And guess what Jesus said to the disciples? He said to them, they asked him, how is it possible that you can just speak the, that word and the tree, it, it was gone? How is it possible? Hallelujah. And Jesus said to them, he said to them further on, Jesus answered, I say unto you, if you have faith and you doubt not, if you have faith and you doubt not, hallelujah, you shall not only do it to the fig tree, but you, you shall say it also to a mountain. So if you can, if you can use a prophetic word, on your bank account you can also use it on your family you can say devil it's the time for my husband to 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 stop drinking is now no more shall he drink your wine no more shall he walk to your place no more shall he do that hallelujah so you can do you can speak the word hallelujah when you can do it, if you can do it to something small, then you can do it to the bigger things. You can do it to all your problems. You can do it to any circumstance. You can rebuke every circumstances in your life. You can tell it to be no more. You can tell it to no more be functioning, to stop functioning. You can, you can make, oh, hallelujah, you can reverse, you can reverse every every functioning of the devil in your life you can reverse it and you can bring it to zero you can let it wither you can let it die out just by speaking a word just by setting it just by speaking it just by saying it just by telling it to be no more just by stopping it with your words hallelujah if you can do to the one one problem in your life then you can do it to all of them 
The fact that this, Jesus said, if you can do it to the fig tree, you can also do it to the mountain. But you have to believe. You need to believe in what you are saying. You need to believe it. You need to be constant. You need to do it with wholeheartedly. Your heart should be in it. Remember I said God answers your heart. Your heart should be in it. Your attitude should be in it. Your emotions should be in it. Hallelujah. In order for God to answer your prayer. In order for God to do the work. In order for God to answer prophetically. And I'm ending off with this word right now. I'm ending off with this word. Where it says at the end, it says in verse 22, in Matthew 21, 22. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing that you shall receive it. Did I not say it? Once you can do that, once you view all things that you ask in prayer, believe that you can do it. Believe that you shall receive it. Have an attitude. Jesus started off with an attitude. You know, we just quote the scripture whereby we say, if you, if in all things, the Bible doesn't say one thing. He said, in all things, in all things, whatsoever you ask, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing that you shall receive it. The, it, it needs an attitude. Prayer needs an attitude. I want to speak to the prayer warriors. I want to speak to the one who doesn't know how to pray. I want to speak to you who never prayed. I want to, or, or you, you, you said, where do I start? I have so many things happening. You that say, I cannot pray. I want to tell you, it is as simple as speaking a word. It is as easy as speaking and believing. But to have your attitude in it, to have your attitude in it, be charged up, be on it, hallelujah, be tired of it, be frustrated, and be angry with your situation. Have a holy anger, hakurunose, have a holy anger, be, be in it, mighty God, hallelujah. I hope someone is hearing me tonight, and the Bible said, it is a promise, and you you shall receive. You shall receive. That is why tonight, tonight, I am here. I am here to usher you into an attitude of prayer. Into a prayer with attitude. Into praying with an attitude. Hallelujah. Into praying with an attitude. Tonight, I want to rebuke someone's situation. I want, I'm here to rebuke your situation. I'm here to speak a word with an attitude in your situation. Only to the person tonight who's got an attitude. Hallelujah. Only to the only to that one tonight, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, only to the one who have an attitude in prayer, to the one who says to suggest, I am tired of it. I know now what to do. I know now how to pray. I know now how I can handle the situation. I know now, hallelujah. And I want to tell you, the Bible said, God's promise for you is this, that you shall ask and you shall receive it. Amen. You shall ask and you shall receive it. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and rebuke your situation tonight. I want you to put up for me, you comment your situation on YouTube, on Facebook. And I am going to rebuke that situation for you as a prophet. I'm going to speak a word. Any situation tonight, any, fun, any object, any person, any circumstance, any problem, any organ that is supposed to function, that is not functioning, that is not giving you fruit, that is not fruitful to you, that is not worthy to you. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. I speak a word tonight and I said, let it be no more. Let it be no more. Let tonight, let all things, hallelujah, let all things tonight that is not functioning normal. I pray 
every abnormality let it be removed in Jesus name let every abnormal functioning it doesn't matter whether it's a car whether it's a house whether it's a bank account it doesn't matter what it is that is not functioning normal it's just an ornament it is just an ornament hallelujah it is an ornament is looking nice it's just in your it's just there hallelujah i pray tonight 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 i pray let abnormality tonight let it wither let it be gone let it be gone i remove every abnormality in the name of jesus and i pray tonight 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 let there be fruit i speak a word and i say let it be, let your life be fruitful let it be fruitful let there be function. Let it, let it, let there be function. When you came to it, there shall be function. It shall function normal. It shall be normal. Hallelujah. Someone is saying, I have all knowledge but no qualifications. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I like that one, Bonita. She's saying, I have the knowledge, but I don't have the qualifications. Meaning that she does, she comes to a place whereby she comes to a fig tree where there is no one. Nothing is working for her. Nothing is working for her. I pray in the name of Jesus now. May there be qualifications. Let all things, hallelujah, all things tonight. It doesn't matter what it is tonight in your life. There is like a fig tree. There is a fig tree that is not functioning. Let there be qualifications, Bonita. Let there be qualifications, Bonita. In the name of Jesus, let there be drops and let you be fruitful. Oh, hallelujah. In Genesis 1, Jesus, uh, the Bible said, God said to us, go and multiply and be fruitful. Hallelujah. Be fruitful. It says, be fruitful hallelujah that is that that is a command god gave us it was a command jesus gave us it was another prophetic word he gave he spoke the word he did not say please be fruit he did not pray to you to be fruitful he spoke it over your life and tonight i want to rebuke every circumstances that is not functioning properly Every circumstance of you that is not doing the work it's supposed to do, I want to rebuke it and say, in the name of Jesus, let it be no more. 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 In the name of Jesus. If your family is a fa if there's family members, but it's not functioning like a family, there's no togetherness, there's no peace, there's no harmony, it is just chaos, it's chaotic, it is terrible. You know you 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 can't function, it's not functioning properly, it's not doing its work it's supposed to do. I pray in the name of Jesus now for families, hallelujah, for families, families to be to be together. I pray let that abnormality, let it go now. Let it wither and let it go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight you can go ahead, you can put up your, your prayer request. If you don't understand my prayer tonight i have one minute and i'm out of here if you don't understand my prayer tonight hallelujah then i don't know then you are not prophetic because in the prophetic we speak a word and what we speak come to pass we don't need anything we speak we speak a word and what we say it happened jesus spoke a word and the tree was gone he spoke a word and there was no more tree. So tonight I'm speaking a word and your problem will be gone. Tonight I'm speaking to your problem. Tonight I'm rebuking your problem. I'm rebuking your empty bank account. I'm rebuking tonight your problem. Your sleepless nights I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I command you to be no more. Oh, you sickness, you disease. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to be no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
I want you to say it after me. Whatsoever it might be that you have, whatsoever it might be, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatsoever it might be that you that you feel that is not functioning right, that is not working in your life, you rebuke it tonight. Hallelujah. You rebuke it tonight. If it's singleness, you say in the name of Jesus, singleness, I command you to be no more. Hallelujah. I command you to go in Jesus' name. If if uh, Belinda said tiredness, tiredness over Belinda, I command you to leave and never return in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. You can go ahead and let me know. So you speak to that situation. You speak to it and you tell it to go. And you tell it to be no more. Jesus spoke to the tree and it was no more. Hallelujah. He said, so you can speak to the mountain. And so also you can ask all things and you will receive it. Hallelujah. So let's do the principles that Jesus has given unto us. And Kirsten says, Mom, pray for me that I may have wisdom in everything. I pray for you. I pray in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every vagueness and I command it to go. And let wisdom come in the name of Jesus. It is done, it is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. You can put up your prayer request. You can let me know what I need to pray for you for. I think someone spoke about their families. I prayed already for your family in the name of Jesus. So tonight I want you guys to do this instruction. Anything that you have in your life that is not functioning, anything that you have in your life that is continuously, every time you get there, I want you to have an attitude in your prayer. Have an attitude. Have an attitude in your prayer. An attitude of frustration for that situation. An attitude of, I am tired now of it. An attitude of, I, 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 I don't tolerate, I can't tolerate it anymore. Have an attitude towards that problem. And when you have an attitude and a frustration towards that problem, then you speak a word and you command it to go and never be in your life. You command it to leave and to stop doing what it's doing. And you command it, hallelujah, to be no more, hallelujah. I hope you guys are going to do that. I know you are going to take my, take my instruction and you're going to pray like that. Hallelujah. You're going to have an attitude in your prayer. Not an, you, you are good to have an attitude when someone shouts you or when someone says bad things to you. Yeah, you are good to have an attitude. Quick, 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 quick. Towards another person. All right? But tonight I want you guys to have an attitude towards your circumstances, towards your, your issues, towards your problem. Yeah, have an attitude. Rise up towards it. Okay? And stand strong. In, make your heart strong. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm out of here. And I know and I trust and I believe that God is going to bless all of you tonight. You are already blessed. You are already favored. You are already covered by the blood of Jesus. You're already protected. And I know, I know, I know that as you are tuned in here, God has already touched you. He's already touched your house. He's touched your heart. And just come back and testify. Just come back and testify. Just come back and testify about the tree that is gone. The tree that is withered in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come and testify about your fruitfulness. Come and tell me more about your fruitfulness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May God bless all of you. And I love all of you a lot. And shalom.